So in other words, the first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to change all of these. I'm just going to reciprocate. Let me start that over. I'm going to reciprocate each of these. I'm not going to show you the fractions on this one because I don't want to overdo it. Um, but just understand that each of these, even if it's being multiplied, has a denominator of 1, which would change this. Uh, well, it's going to change a lot, actually. So let's go ahead and write these as fractions. I've got x to the power of, that's, I don't need that there, negative 2. And then y to the power of negative 2 as well. Both these I'm just going to make over 1. We'll write as fractions like that. Here I've got 5 times x to the power of negative 1 over 1. Plus 2 times y to the power of negative 1 over 1. So I, I just need to focus on each specific part. Whether it's... Uh, notice I didn't put the 5 or the, or the 2 over 1. If it helps you to do that, then... Write those in, okay? But I'm not reciprocating that 5 or the 2 because neither of those by themselves have negative exponents. They do have exponents. They're just a positive one. So now I'm just going to reciprocate each one of these. Starting with that x to the power of negative 2, I'm going to make that 1 over x squared. So again, reciprocating that fraction is going to make that exponent positive. This is going to be multiplied by 1 over y squared. And that was the numerator in the full thing. Uh, I don't, again, I don't reciprocate that 5 because it has a positive exponent of 1. But I will reciprocate this x to the power of negative 1. So I'm going to multiply that by 1 over x. So well, is it just 5 over x then? And then we're going to add this to 2. And then I'm going to reciprocate this y to the power of negative 1. So the 2 is multiplied by now 1 over y. Uh, again, we don't really show these exponents of 1. We can if we really badly want to, though. Now, if we stay consistent with what we had, we had 5 over 1 and 2 over 1, right? That just helps us to see what we're multiplying together uh, in those two parts of this problem. So... I can make this 1 over x squared y squared by multiplying the numerators and the denominators of the full numerator there. And then in the denominator, I've got 5 times 1 over 1 times x, which would be 5 over x. And I'm going to add this to 2 times 1, which is 2, over 1 times y, which is y. All right, so now I'm going to write this as just a division problem. So I have 1 over x squared, y squared, which if it helps, I can put in parentheses. I'm going to divide this by 5 over x plus 2 over y. Now what I need are common denominators so that I have just one full fraction in the part that's after the divide sign there, that second part. So this 5 over x plus 2 over y, I want to be one full fraction, not addition of two different fractions. So I have an x in 5 over x, and I have a y in 2 over y in the denominators. So if I just combine them, then I would have xy. So I need to multiply x by y, so I'll multiply 5 by y. And that would give me 5y over xy. Uh, but again, if I have these common denominators, I can make it one full fraction. So I'm going to multiply y by x and 2 by x as well, which is going to give me that 2x. Of course, those were being added together. And we're going to put that over xy. See, now we have one full fraction that we can reciprocate so that we can change this to multiplication. So, and that's equal to, what I can do now is reciprocate this fraction and change the operation to multiplication. Now we're in good, good shape. We can uh, combine these two by multiplying the numerators and denominators, making this one full fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is going to equal one times xy is just 
x y over x squared y squared times 5y plus 2x it's just what it is if we look at this we can separate them right we could look at x over x squared and x squared really is just x times x so the x's cancel out meaning this x will cancel out one of these two here making that a one that's kind of sloppy but this y also will cancel out one of these two y's so what do we have left in the numerator the x and y canceled out so we're just gonna have the multiplicative identity one in the numerator one over now we've only got one x in the denominator one y and then in parentheses we had five y plus two x and that's about as far as we can simplify this thing